Well, hi there, and welcome to Christopher's Corner with me, Christopher Michaels, a.k.a. Who's Your Chubby? Today I thought I'd do some coloring in a Halloween book, being Halloween is right around the corner. Favorite time of the year, absolutely love it. Want to see what I'm going to color, see how I'm going to color it, and all that good coloring stuff? Stick around. Okay, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to color with markers for a base coat. Then I'm going to color with, uh, on top of that, layering and shading with Prismacolor. And what I'm hoping will happen, I've not done this really, I did it once with a little tiny picture. Uh, what I'm hoping will happen is that the, you know, you have to put like a hundred layers of pencil down so the white flakes from the, uh, the, the paper don't show through, but I'm hoping the marker will take care of that so that all I have to do is just shade. So let's find out what's going to happen. Ooh, I hope it works. I'm going to do Frankie. Reason being, it's just a couple of colors, really. It's going to be green with brown hair. And so, and then I guess drool. And then the rest will be shading. And so this is going to be a great way of finding out if what I'm thinking will work, will work or not. So let's find out. First thing I'm going to put down is my plastic sheet to protect this page from the markers going through, because they will. And then I'm going to put this scrap of um, cardstock paper down just to make absolute sure that the picture on the other page is protected. Now what I'm going to do is find a lighter shade of green so that I can go in with darker shades of green on his skin. And I am today going to use my new Cali Arts pen uh, markers. And so let's go in there and see what we can do. I probably will put some music on just because sometimes it's a pain in the butt for me to talk through while I'm coloring because I'm trying to concentrate. Here we go. First of all, yeah, that's a good color. Okay, here we go. Now, when you put down color, like I'm doing, if I were to stop right now and come back later, there'd be a big line there. And I don't want a big line there big lines suck. So I'm going to do it this way. If you have to stop, and I'm just coloring the whole thing one color, and this will dry um, lighter. But I'm just doing it all one color, because as I say, I'm going to go in with my Prismacolors to add shading and lighting and stuff like that. So what I have learned the hard way, as I said, if you color, try to make sure you know you're not going to be disturbed while you're putting the, the marker down initially. Because even when I'm just coloring small sections, if I don't get it down oh, quick enough, let's say, it will cause lines to appear. and They're kind of a pain in the butt to get rid of. So I don't really want to have to deal with that.
And then I'm gonna go into his hair. So I'm gonna get brown hair color. Although it should be black. Do you like horror movies? Are there any horror movies you're going to go see? No, I wait for streaming now. However, it's funny. This new Exorcist movie. Part of it looks good to me, but then other parts look stupid. I think the makeup on the the one little girl looks really creepy and uh, scary. But on the African-American girl, I think they did a terrible job of the makeup. I think it looks stupid. I don't think she looks... It's just, you look at it and you're like, that's a really bad makeup job. They gave her this huge forehead why? I don't know. Maybe it will be explained in the movie. Now, I don't think he's been to the dentist. So let's give him some not so great looking teeth. I never read Frankenstein, so now I'm listening to it now, so this might inspire me. Do I wanna do something with his eyes? I kinda like it that they're so white and they're just creepy as hell. So I think I'm gonna leave those. Now, here's what I'm gonna have to do. I need to let this dry because the marker, I'm sure is, um, see how it comes through. So if you don't have something here like this, unless it's really thick paper, it's gonna go through to your other picture. So that's why putting blotters down to see, you can see where Frankie's hair is. Uh, so yeah, you wanna always be careful with that. So what I need to do now is let this dry. And then I can go in with the other pencils. I would say at least two hours, but I'll probably let it sit overnight. So what I like to use is this, which is, it was just some styrofoam I got out of a box uh, when a delivery was made. And I like to put it here and I like to put the page over it because to me, it's kind of like a, cooling rack from when you're baking in a way. Uh, not that I would use styrofoam as a cooling rack, but I mean it's airy and light and it lets the picture um, dry. And then after it's dry, I can go in with um, the Prisma colors and start coloring. Or I should say shading and stuff like that. So through the magic of editing, we're going to go now and come back later. Okay, so here it is, all nice and dry, just to be safe. I'm gonna open up my, my Prisma colors so that I can start my experiment. How appropriate to start it with Frankenstein, being he was basically an experiment. Hmm. 
have a link to that and this book and the markers and everything down in the description part of this video for easy clicking if you decide to do some. All right, let's go start. Oh, I've got it up here. I just want to add some shadowing here where his hair is. And I'm going to turn him so that it's slightly easier for me. Hopefully the camera's picking up the shadowing effect I'm doing. Hopefully. <laughs> if I had to do this over again, I probably would have gone in with a lighter shade of green. In fact, there's no problem with that. I would have gone in with a lighter shade of green. Now this is something that pencils do, at least the wax ones, that bother me, that using markers, now, if I go into his hair like that, you can see it. So I, sometimes I don't want that to happen. Today I might, but not normally. So, but then the pencils are nice because I can erase them if need be. Whereas that's not the case with a marker. <laughs> the markers can be, well, they're permanent. <laughs> And now we have some shadows for his hair. Get some a little sharpener here because it needs it. I love this sharpener because as you saw, it will stop when it's done. And this is the Taihu sharpener. I think it's the best sharpener on the market. No, they're not a sponsor uh, for pencils. He's looking a little creepier, which is what I wanted. I kind of thought he looked cute before, to be honest with you. All right, I'm going to go in with a lighter one and see if I can do some highlighting. Again, I'm just experiment experimenting today. Oh, I can. As I said before, I am reading Frankenstein now. I should say I'm using an Audible book. I love audible.com. No, they're not a sponsor. Um, but, God, it's a boring book. The Dracula book was so much better. But this book, ugh, I hate the way she writes. I hate her style. 
I can't believe, you know, I used to complain that Stephen King would take 30 pages to describe someone's dress they had on, but she just goes way beyond that and just, ugh, goes off on these little fanciful poem, poetic kind of rants and it's just like, please. But it's certainly a lot different than any of the movies I've seen. So I will listen to it to see what happens in it and uh, it, it helps to inspire me to do this. And I would love to say it's scary, but it's not scary at all. At least not yet. But I've already listened to over an hour of it and pff, the monster has disappeared from, from... This is what got me about the book. Spoiler! 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 Um... He, Frankenstein's like, I must create life. And I did all these experiments to create life. And, and finally I did it in the lab. Which, by the way, he never really talks about electricity. So that was just something I guess the movies decided to make uh, up uh, of how he got the creature to live. Um, but anyway, he's just, you know, he's doing this and he... Spends two years doing it, and aha, he finally figures out the secret of life. But he won't tell us because, you know, he doesn't want us to know. Which, okay, whatever, that's cool. It's kind of hard to write about something like that if you're making it up. But he, he, he brings the creature to life, which looks nothing like, of course, this. Um, it actually has long black hair. It does have these eyes, although there's blue... But it's so light that you can barely see it. Um, but anyway, the creature, he wakes up, the creature's, you know, standing over his bed like, Hi, <laughs> who am I and why am I here kind of thing. And Frankenstein freaks out. And actually, I mean, yeah, Frankenstein freaks out and runs out of his apartment. Which, first of all, I always thought they called them flats. But runs out of his apartment and won't go back because he's so terrified and now he regrets it and blah blah blah. And I'm like, what a pussy. You, 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 you go on and on and on about creating life and how great it is and blah 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 blah. And then you do it and you freak out immediately about it. Because the, the, the creature, you know, is alive and I just it just annoys me to no end already But you can see here, I hope on camera, the shading I did to show a shadow of his hair. And then if you highlight the other side, it looks like the light's hitting and then cast, casting the shadow. So.
So there we go. I feel I'm done. I feel that it looks gruesomer. <laughs> and um, I really enjoyed coloring this way. This, of course, didn't give me that much to do, as I say, but... And then you can see how coloring first with the marker really does help because you don't have the tooth showing through to where you have to put 27 different layers of a pencil down. So I tried to have a little fun with it. I tried to make him a little creepier. I think it succeeded. And I wanted to show you all the things you can do to just an ordinary little Halloween picture to make it more into a horror movie kind of picture. So let me know what you think down below, good or bad. And uh, let me know if uh, you think you might try markers like this and then your pencils. That way you're using both. I really like doing it this way. And I think from now on when I do a picture, I probably will go in with a base coat. But again, this was just, you know, to show how you could take something that's three colors and still shade it in and make it look different and creepy and um, that's what I've tried to do and I hope I succeeded but that's kind of up to you <laughs> all right okay so I after I got this done I was editing the video and I noticed that this is supposed to come down I don't know why the artist put the chin marks here except um, most likely this is supposed to be drool but how the hell do you color drool? So anyway, uh, it's supposed to be blood. And if you go back and look at the beginning of this video after this is done, you'll see it's, it's quite clear that this is supposed to be blood. Um, so I'm gonna try to fix that because I like to show my mistakes. Although personally, I think it was the artist's mistake. <coughs> If you ask me. Um, so I'm gonna try, what I'm debating is, should I just go over it with red and hope that that works? Or should I use some um, Pasco? Hold on, I think I got some right here. I do. To take the color out and then paint it red. I'm really debating what I should do. What should I do? Okay, you're right. I will try it with the red, and if that doesn't work, I'll go in with that and see if that fixes it. So here we go. Fingers crossed, folks. Fingers crossed. Uh, I don't think it's gonna work. Well, maybe it will. Of course, I made the line even. darker the black line I made it even darker when I was coloring thinking that you know I was supposed to show the chin so I'm gonna go ahead and go over this so that there's no problem with the line of it and then I'm gonna go over this for the same reason and then I'm going to really hope and pray this works well I'm not gonna pray because you know it's not that big of a deal there, how does that, how does that look? You know, let me move this up, because I forgot to. There, now I can see it better. I love this desk. <laughs> I think it works. I think I saved it, and I didn't have to whiten the whole thing first. So, hopefully you agree with me. I think Thor is trying to get in the bedroom here. But hopefully you agree with me. Or you could be saying, you suck, Christopher, you suck so bad. And I would have to agree with you. <laughs> um, because I can't believe I made that mistake, but I still think it's the artist. It was all the artist's fault, not mine. No, actually, I'll take responsibility for it. 
it's funny I didn't notice it until I was watching it on the editing and I'm like oh that's not right this makes a lot more sense though now than just blood down here for no reason so there we go now I think it's done I had already signed it too and uh, you're not supposed to do anything after you sign it well where I had to do something <laughs> so okay I'm gonna put the red back Thank you, Cali Arts, for saving my picture. Well, I think it saved it. That's, that's me now. I still, the, the eyes, I kind of wonder if I should have left them white instead of the, um, putting the blue. I wanted to do like the book set with the blue, um, because in the book they're very creepy. So, I don't know. Hopefully I did the right thing. I could always posco that out though if I wanted to and have the white back. You know what I think I will? Just to show you how you do it. First of all, there it is. And then you have to shake it. Alright, hopefully that's shook enough. Put this on my oh yeah, that's that's a lot. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, well, that was easy. Well, that was easier than I thought it would be. There, his eyes are white again. Now, I'm sure some of you are out there going, no, the others were creepier. And you might be right, but I kind of like them just white. To me, they're just creepier. I think Frankie's done. Hopefully you like it, but uh, let me know down in the comments and now I shall finish the video, which of course is going to show the old Frankie, but you know, you get the, you, you get it, you get it. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye. All right. So like I said, this book, the pencils and uh, the markers, everything in the video will be uh, down below. Uh, if you'd like to click any of them uh, for purchase, I am, they're not sponsors. I, you know, it's just for your convenience, really. But that's down there and my, um, wish lists, my Amazon wish lists are there. You can click the little thanks button that's below this video if you'd like to, to show some love to the channel by tipping me. Uh, whatever you do um, is fine, but if you could subscribe and like button and share my videos, that's the best way to help out too because that gets my channel to grow and I can keep doing more things. So anyway, until next time, I hope you have a happy Halloween or Samhain. And uh, remember to stay safe, stay sane, stay healthy, stay happy. Stay tuned.